Welcome to Downtown Cafe. Please subscribe to our channel and also turn on your notification bell order to get our latest updates. So I am telling you, I'm saying that at the international scene, Cameroon is in a bad position. Look, no sentiments. Cameroon is in a very bad position. Um, senior barrister, one must government do extra from what they have been doing now to put a, put a definite end to what is happening? Thank you, Mr. Akum. Um, what must government do? I am a very honest man and I want honesty to prevail wherever, wherever I am. Mm -hmm. I get particularly disturbed when I see a nation, a respected nation like Canada, take the floor to inform the international community that they are meditating in a crisis between the Republic of Cameroon and Southern Cameroon in the bracket and Bazunia. Then I come to this panel and I hear this CPD man talking what I'm hearing. It's uh, very disturbing because um, I said earlier that I tried to verify what my, my friend calls the government debunking the Canadian declaration. I tried to verify the people have contacted. They are high level people but one said contact this one or that one. I, I don't have any idea. They told us that they were there but I did not see. The other said, contact this other person too. So I will still contact them. But I want to assure my friend here that Canada has a reputation to defend. Canada has a reputation to defend. They cannot go to the air to say what they said. I mean, the foreign minister to say what they said. And contrary to what you said, the Canadian High Commissioner in Yaoundé tweeted to confirm the foreign minister's statement. So, Maybe maybe you lost that one. The foreign minister, excuse people? me, please. If he tweeted to confirm, why were you still finding out from other people? Because that's the highest authority who can. I am telling you that the Canadian High Commissioner tweeted to confirm the foreign minister's statement. Now, Cameroon government has said they sent nobody, and I have said that I am verifying. I've contacted highly placed diaspora uh, activists, and I was surprised to hear them say they don't know. I will continue until I get to the root, root of it. If any person that uh, represented this government, I will know. Unfortunately, and I am saying that. Unfortunately, oh Mayor, uh, permit me to cut you short. Unfortunately, Mr. Kuhn, tweet, me for, for, tweet is you. not a formal form of diplomatic communication. Okay, excuse me. Uh, Tweeting is not a formal form of um, diplomatic uh, communication. Uh, 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 Please, please. Nations don't Mr. communicate Mr. Shune, tweeting. Mr. Shune, Mr. Shune, yes, go on. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. In fact, I think CPD, with all those centers they have for training, I don't know what they train. You see, um, you mean the CPDM Academy? Uh, they have all those their training, training centers. I don't know what they train. You see, the Canadian <laughs> foreign minister did not tweet. She did not tweet. She made a press statement. The ambassador, the, the high commissioner here, tweeted to confirm. So I am telling you, I'm saying that at the international scene, Cameroon is in a bad position. Look. No sentiments. Cameroon is in a very bad position. Because if Canada has proof that government uh, that Cameroon government participated, do you know what consequences that will have? And I was told that the UN representatives were also present. I am going to go to the router and find out who was actually there and who wasn't. Uh, let me tell you. CDN was present. I was. A, I'm a member of C, C, uh, CDN. I will get to CDN. I will get the, the names of those people. Don't bother yourself. What I'm saying is that what the government should do is to join those talks very fast. Join those talks very fast because the government cannot put up a fight with the international community. I'm telling you straightly, straight in the eyes. Cameroon government cannot put up a fight. Let me remind you that we are under. We are taking drips, economic drips. They can cut those drips, and you know what that is. They can send you Christine Lagarde, and you know what that is. Please. It's not nice to put up a fight. If they were actually there, let them go back to that. If they were not there, let them go there. If they were there and they want to back backtrack, let them go to that table and negotiate this issue. It's not a matter for any person to put cameras into more turmoil and frustration. We have not been able to solve this thing internally for six years. Now we have an international community that is coming up to help 
if Cameroon doesn't go, it will show that it is Cameroon government that is causing trouble. And that is not good in the eyes of the international community. I don't know who are the people who advise this government. But that is very wrong. It's wrong for a government to be seen as a troubleshooter. How can you explain that Canada will say, we want to mediate this thing? And the government says, no, we never mandate anybody. That is not good at all. So I am saying that what the government is not doing that it ought to do is to go to those talks. If they were not there, let them be there. If they were there and they want to backtrack, let them go back to that table and make sure that this thing is negotiated. Otherwise, I don't see them getting out of it without leaving feathers.